And a Mesa husband devastated after losing his wife and the mother of their children in a terrible fire. The inferno killing Cindy Frameth as her sons tried to rescue her. Team 12's Nicole Zymek joins us live from the Alert Center. And Nicole, this family was already going through sorrow and heartbreak even before the fire. Yeah, Karibe, they sure were. This is a really sad one. Cindy was already terminally ill. She was bedridden and in the final stages of ovarian cancer. Her family knew that they were going to lose her. They just never expected it would be in such a tragic way. She's my only, my one and only, so I was just gone. Don and Cindy have 40 years of history. Told her the first date we went on that I'd marry her. Three months later, we were married. But Don has only these two photos. The last picture I got of her. The fire destroying the others. All of our photo albums. Is that really hard, the photo album? Yeah. That's my life, with my life. That's before cell phones. Cindy's bedroom window, boarded up. These soot trails, the only clue of the devastation that took place here. They were in their bedroom right next door to it. Cindy at home with her children. But it started so fast, the oxygen machine just went up. It just ignited. And at that point, when you have pure oxygen, it just exploded out the windows. The two boys, they tried to save their mom, but they couldn't. They threw in water on it and everything. They just couldn't get to her. So there was too much smoke and too much flames. The family now homeless. Their youngest son's school starting a GoFundMe to help them. I don't want anybody screaming for their life at their last moment. <laughs> Let alone my wife. Part of life, it's just not the part that I wanted to live. So I thoroughly expected to wake up and find her passing in her sleep. Well, the Red Cross is paying for Don and his family to stay in a nearby hotel. That's until Saturday. After that, they don't have a plan yet. You'll find the link to the GoFundMe posted on 12news.com. For now, we're live in the Alert Center. Nicole Zymek, 12 News at 10. All right, Nicole.